now that we have the first part of ledge grabbing working, I'm going to turn off the mesh renderer because that's how the game is going to be. And let me play again. So this is where we left off. Now we want to be able to fine tune the exact position of the player. I've also edited the animation. If I go into my characters folder and U motion animations, I have a slightly edited version of the hanging idle animation. I've done this using U motion. It's a paid asset, but as always, you can download everything in the links below. If I go into the animator window, I've replaced the former animation with the new one hanging idle still. Now I want to figure out exactly which position or how much we want to offset once the hanging idle animation gets triggered. And in order to figure that out, while we're in the play mode, I'm going to move the player from its original position to the ledge. And I'm going to have the local position, 0, 0, 0. These things don't get, get saved while we're in the play mode, so I can pretty much do whatever I want. And first I want to put the player exactly where I want it to be. And I think this looks good. Let me check the game window. Okay. Maybe it's a little too far down. So adjust the local position however you want it. Okay, I think this looks good. Because this doesn't get saved, I want to write it down somewhere in a notepad. So it's 0, negative 11.45, and negative 0 0.99. So you want to keep this and accept play mode. Okay, now I'm going to go into the ledge script. And I want a public variable where we can save that number, call it offset. Go back to Unity. So now we can put in the offset into the prefab. So it was negative 11.49, 45, and negative 0 0.99. Okay, and I'm going to click apply. Now I'm going to go into the ledge checker. And I want to be able to access the ledge's offset. So let me create another public variable and we'll call it grabbed ledge. And every time we come into contact with the ledge, we save it here. So make it null when we're no longer in contact. Just to make things clear, I want to rename this check ledge. So this is a variable for checking the ledge. And this is just another variable to keep it, to save it. Okay, make sure you save everything. And I'm going to go to my states folder, state scripts, and I want a new ability, a very specific ability. I'm going to call it offset on ledge. Basically, this is just an ability that is going to move the player once we do the ledge grabbing. Oh, no, control T. I just want to copy paste the format. So copy, 
and change the name offset on ledge. Okay. And this ability is just going to do one thing. First, we want to get character control. And once we get the character control, we want to... Hmm, first, we want to separate the character from the box collider. So, hmm, first I, I'll call it character animator or I'll make it short I'll just call it anim for short and I'm gonna get the character animator the game object that has the animator and I want to set the parent of the animator to the ledge and remember the variable that we saved in the ledge checker so that's going to be the new parent and the local position which we saved is going to be from the grabbed ledge we called it offset and just to be safe let me get rid of all previous velocity save everything and go back to unity I'm gonna go to the ledge grab folder and create that ability it was called offset on ledge so name it player offset on ledge let me add the ledge grab in the name okay I'm gonna go to the animator and a hanging idle is going to have that ability offset on ledge. Now let's click play and see if it works. Okay, so as soon as this animation is triggered, the character moves to exactly where um, we want it to be. Okay. And I think I also want to turn off the box collider when we're hanging on to the ledge. So let's create that ability. Toggle box collider. Okay, and it's going to be almost the same as toggle gravity. So control T, find toggle gravity. First copy paste the format. Oops. Okay, and put it in there. Change the name, toggle box collider. And rename the function, toggle box call for short. And the only difference is going to be that we're turning off the box collider. Mm. Control get component box collider enabled is false. Okay, save everything. Go back to Unity. And inside the ledge grab, again, we're going to create that ability called toggle box collider. Player ledge grab toggle box collider off. Again, we're going to turn it off right in the beginning of the hanging animation. Go to the animator and we add the ability. Okay, so let's click play again. Things should be exactly the same, except if I look at the scene view, the box collider is no longer turned on while we're hanging on. Okay, looks good. 
let me just test it again I want to look at it with a bigger screen and I think it looks good now all we got to do is trigger the climbing animation or some climbing abilities mm. I thought I was gonna do everything in one video but I think I should quit here and do the climbing motion in the next video so thanks for watching let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys soon